have eyebrows this time around. I loved your bleached eyebrows in the movie. I never thought I would be influenced to bleach my eyebrows. Did you like See, it? I loved it. And they're very polarizing. A lot of people were like, why have you not got any eyebrows in this film? And I was like, just, if that's what you're taking away from this film, then that's the wrong reaction. Yeah, it made me, I was like, maybe I should change my style up. Honestly, I don't know, but it was, it was a moment. I loved it. Good. You sound great. Yeah, right. What, you're telling me you weren't feeling it? You were in it. We don't need to put them all out. I know, but we just need to film them. So your character, <laughs> Lou, is actually the lead singer of a metal band. And I wanted to know, did you listen to metal before? Were you a fan? No, and I think I was quite ignorant towards the metal genre, thinking it was maybe just noise, which is sacrilege to say. Um, but I listened to a lot of surfboard. I listened to a lot of um, Pharmacon. And the lead singer of Pharmacon, was uh, Margaret Sade, was my mentor. So she taught me how to scream and uh, play the guitar and loop. And we um, wrote the lyrics together of the oh, song. Oh, wow, really? You wrote the lyrics of the song? Yeah, I mean, you can't understand a word that I'm saying, but they're there. But I was there for <laughs> I mean, the first four minutes of the movie are like intense metal. So that has to be hard on your vocal cords. Did you, so you did training and you had to practice? How to yeah, that? but basically what Margaret says, she was just like, it's just, it is just screaming. So you have to rest because there's not much you can do to avoid getting damaged if you just do it all the time. Did you drink tea or anything to try and? Yeah, I drank tea. I had this I, uh, this throat spray, this herbal throat spray. Oh. Uh, that that was quite good in actually um, in lubricating my vocal cord. Um, <laughs> but apart from that, I mean, it's just rest. A lot of people are really excited about the representation in this film of the deaf community. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do you think it's important to show different people on our screens? With any culture, you need something like film or TV or something that's in the media in order to highlight it so people can learn and be educated on. And I think what this film does beautifully is just highlight that being deaf is not a disability. It's a culture and they're absolutely fine yeah. with not being able to hear us hearing people need to be so much less ignorant about that and be more educated on it because it's not up to them it's up to us to make this world a more um um an easier place to live in for the deaf community absolutely is is that the message that you want to get across from this film like what do you want people to take away from it oh yeah i think i hope that i think yeah. um because even, I mean, I was woefully ignorant towards um, deaf culture. And so if people learn the little, the little bit that we're offering in this film and then go off and do their own education, that'd be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I think it will influence people to do that. So thank you so much for talking to me. It oh, was thanks. truly an incredible movie. And I think oh, it's changing a lot of people's lives for sure. Oh, thanks Bailey, thank you. Crappy, mundane world suddenly becomes radiant and magnificent. All the fear is gone. That place will never appear.